I was someone who no one would want to be. But when I got to go to the boxing gym, even at a young age, I was somebody who everybody wanted to be. It was almost like a drug that I became addicted to. By unanimous decision, and the new IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Caleb Sweethands Plant. Plant was born in Nashville, Tennessee, and has recalled his childhood a few times. He was quoted as stating, you can use your imagination as to how it was. There were times in the winter when we had no money for propane and we wouldn't have heating. We'd just bundle up, put your sweats on, put your hoodie on, grab a bit of a blanket and stay warm. I can still remember those days and it's a big motivation factor that I keep in mind to this day. It makes me keep on working so I don't end up back in that situation. In the blue corner representing Nashville, Caleb Plant. Plant. Referee is Kevin Franklin. After taking up boxing at the age of eight, Caleb would go on to win the 2011 Golden Gloves in the light heavyweight division. Plant was an alternate for the 2012 Summer Olympics. As an amateur, Caleb won numerous tournament titles while compiling a record of 97 wins with only 20 defeats. Plant made his professional debut on May 10th, 2014, when he was scheduled to fight Travis Davidson. He would go on to win the fight by first round knockout, ending the fight after just 47 seconds. After getting his pro debut under his belt, things looked great on the surface for Plant. But behind the scenes, one of many tragedies would strike home. Plant's firstborn daughter, Aaliyah Plant, suffered an unknown medical condition that caused seizures. Aaliyah died in January of 2015 at the age of 19 months after she got a respiratory infection which developed into pneumonia. Plant's final moments with his daughter were heartbreaking. He let her know that she could go if the suffering was too much to handle. She was slowly going down and down and down and down and down, Plant said. I went to her and I said, this has been a long 19 months and I know you gotta be tired. I've lost more than anybody else that you've seen step in this room. I've taken more L's and more losses than anybody that is gonna step in this room. Just sit off uh, to the side and, and know that there's really nothing you can do to help your little girl. It's not a good feeling. I know I didn't have the, uh, the short end of the stick, but at that time, it felt like prison because you can't escape it, you can't get away from it, and it's every day, all day long. Boxing has been my sanctuary where I can escape from the world and uh, be somebody else. Caleb Plant would somehow continue to fight on in his boxing career after losing his daughter. Taking all the emotion and the weight of the world on his shoulders, he would rattle off 16 consecutive wins taking the 168 pound division by storm. And in 2019, he would fight for the IBF super middleweight title against Jose Uzcadegui. A six foot two Venezuelan with power in both hands, a super middleweight knockout artist, who many at the time considered the boogeyman of the 168 pound division. Caleb Plant was an underdog coming into this fight. People didn't think he had the power to really stop Uzcadegui or keep him at bay. They felt like the Venezuelan would eventually walk Caleb Plant down, punch through his flashy style, and possibly even finish Caleb. But Caleb had other things in mind. He's giving us something more to work. From the nose of the challenger, and that any fight, but ooh, there's a right the oh, man in there right now. Yeah. And a miss from Katagi. Oh, the kid's over center. Challenge him, you know, to punch him. Go hit him with a good shot. The head. Up plant underneath looks like Jose Wilding, but he misses it a lot. In the tenth round. Yeah, I don't know. And the new IBF Super Middleweight Champion. Caleb was able to make good on his promise to his daughter. Must have been a mixed, mixed bag of emotions for Caleb Plant at the time. And unbelievably, while in the mix of losing his daughter and winning a championship, tragedy would strike again. That's only a few months later, Caleb Plant would lose his mother 
in an alleged officer-involved shooting. It just seems to be the story of Caleb Plant's life. He endures things that would break anyone, gets back up, uses it as fuel, and continues to climb to reach new peaks. For now, it's your boy Vega with Vega Sports Talk. I'll see you guys on the next one.